So, uh, another way of making gold, the Mystic Toilet. There's guaranteed ways to make gold, and there's really bad ways of making gold. Um, this one is probably a better, worse way of making gold. I don't know. It's There's there's lots of options you can do, like material promotion, which I find doesn't give you a lot of gold. Um, there's uh, siege promotion, which is the one that I'm going to talk about, which gives you quite a decent, decent amount of gold. So what you want to do is you want to go here, buy yourself a couple of Siege Masters guides. I don't have many skill points because I do this a lot for my World of World guild. So I'm going to buy nine, I believe I just bought. That, is all. So that would make sense, yeah, obviously. Nineteen minus nine gives you ten, doesn't it? Okay. So what you do here is you pick um, a Siege type that's normal. Uh, I tend to go for Rams because Rams are very well used. Uh, catapults are also quite popular and Arrow Carts. All of these are quite cheap to buy on the auction house if i find them for you so worth some more if you put your buy orders in you got there you go uh 164 if i want to buy it straight away 123 uh, let's go for catapults catapults are three or two uh 350 250 ish and arrow carts are about 125, 150. So you can buy quite a few of them quite cheap. Uh, the next thing that you need is Elderwood logs and Mithril ore. This stuff just drops from anything that you've been doing. So you've been doing your world boss farms, you'll get quite a few materials from that. Uh, you put those in and then you pick the one you're going to upgrade. So I'm going to upgrade the Flame Ram. And you can see what is it? We're going to use 5, 5, 1, and 2. And then when I click Forge, that gives me a superior blueprint. RAM blueprint. Now, if I sell this at the trading post now, this is up to 11. So there's quite a big profit margin to be made in skill points. You can do this. Uh, if I did all of mine now, I may, uh, I'll do all of them together. So you can see, you just keep clicking them in, clicking the forge button. Don't worry about clicking accept either. As soon as it's done, you can just pull it back in and click forge again. It saves you a little bit of time. I used to be one of those people that clicked the accept button. It's just to say that you've read the message more than anything else. So here we go. So I would have probably spent about, if I remember right, these were 150. So I put in 18 of them, which puts me at about 30 silvers worth of materials. The Mithril and Elderwood logs I've just accumulated from time. They don't sell for a lot anyway. So, okay, that's all uh, all nine done. Didn't take me a lot of time. Set the trading post. And I've got myself a gold. Quite quickly, if I wanted to sell it for more, I get myself a gold 20. So I'm going to list them quite low down. In fact, uh, if you saw there, I'll, I'll put a uh, in fact, if you saw there, uh, it was actually a little bit more than normal. Someone had just listed one very, very low. So I was uh, not paying attention there and I just waited. But that's still a gold that I have made in profit from just upgrading for nine skill points. Which skill points you'll pick up just by leveling up throughout the game. So it's just a nice way of making yourself a little bit of gold uh i won't recommend doing it a lot if you can find yourself a world with world guild that are willing to help you uh with that sort of stuff you can make yourself a little bit of profit doing it that way so it's a good way of making yourself a little bit of gold the last technique i've some people have said it's really worth it other people haven't but you can do the mystic clover upgrade uh, which involves, I think it's crystals. I'm pretty sure it's crystals. Um, and then you throw 10 of each of these materials in. If you've got a lot of karma, it's worth doing because the Mystic Coins turn up quite a lot uh, now. So Mystic Coins, 250, and there you go. That's the 10 mix. If you do that, you've got a chance of getting some materials back. Um, there you go. I've got 22 powerful Venom Sacks, which... When you look at the materials I've used, uh, that's got me three gold, 78. And if I want to buy more of these, 
it's three girls, twenty. It's not a huge profit. It's probably not worth doing. But sometimes you get a lot more than that. Sometimes you get a lot less. Uh, it's a risk reward thing with the Mystic Mystic Forge. Uh, if you're going for your legendary, it may be worth doing. If you've got a lot of Mystic coins, uh, globs of ectoplasm as well will be coming from your world boss. So these are materials that you aren't collecting as such. Uh, you're not actively going out and collecting these materials. They're just sort of appearing in your bank. So it's worthwhile. And if we look, I think my rams would have sold. Yep, my rams have pretty much all sold. So it's well worth doing. So that is the Mystic Forge guide for you.